Hi, I'm Paul Modiano from Logical Developers, and in this video, we're going to go over exactly how and why to configure application generation options in IronSpeed Designer. I believe that the best way to illustrate the value of configuring your application generation options is to show you what happens when you don't do it. So we've just uh, started the application generation wizard. And as you could see, we're using our familiar Southwind MDB table. And you could see that the categories table has been selected. By default, IronSpeed has selected the add record, edit record, edit table, uh, gallery enhanced, a whole bunch of others. And it's added all these as default pages to be created. And that may be well if you need it, but most of the time you just don't need that. So if I then select customers, it wants to make seven pages for that. If I then select orders, and then I select products, and I select sales reps, right now it's ready to make 35 pages for us. So to start this out, I'm going to show you what happens when we don't change any of the application generation options. And I'm going to take the defaults and I'm going to proceed. Now that our default application generation is complete, let's look at the resulting application. Uh, we are now at the categories table page and let's look under actions. What we see, in addition to the add record button, there is export to PDF, to Word, to Excel, and there's an import button. Now, I never specifically said that I wanted those buttons or that I didn't, and these are good examples of things that you can configure in application generation option. Because I skipped that process, every one of these show table pages that was created has all of those, and if I want to remove them, I have to remove them one by one. In short, if you don't configure your application generation options, you are very likely to be very busy deleting lots of things that you don't want from your application. Going back to the IronSpeed application, there are two ways to configure your application generation option. You could either do it in the application wizard itself, which has at the bottom the options button, or you could instead pull down the tools button and you will see uh, application generation options as a menu item. Either way, it brings you here. The first item in the application generation options is menu and related options. And if we open that up, we see that there are web page menu items and mobile page menu items. If I open web page menu items, you could see that you can determine what type of menus will be generated, whether they're multi-level or not, the maximum number of items, and so forth. You have a few fewer options in the mobile page menu generation options. But let me collapse that. Under new page and chart options, we see that the web page options can be configured, including pages to create. If we look under there, we see that there are three basic kinds. There are data entry forms. This would be an add record page or an edit record or edit table. And you might want to turn off edit table because you don't always want that to be created, whereas you probably always want an edit record page to be created. And under reports, while the default would allow it to generate gallery and enhanced, very often you may want to use nothing but the basic table controls. Similarly, you may want to turn off any workflow related pages and generate them as they are needed. Configuring data entry forms is almost always a good idea. If we look, we see that there are three kinds of data entry forms add record, edit record, edit table. What you could do is go in and set those page options. For example, how many tables, detail tables to automatically generate, master record options and detail table options, including the number of columns that it defaults to using and the default rows. You could explore these endlessly and change these defaults to implement your preferred business practices.
Another thing that can be configured is whether or not a save and new record button will appear at the bottom of the page in addition to the normal save and cancel. And again, specifying this once will allow it to implement that for all pages that are generated. So let's go up here and let's collapse a few of these things so we can see where we are. We'll close down the detail table. And what we've been doing is going through the add record. The edit record has similar options. Edit table has some options there. What I want to go over is the reports section. Reports are the table controls that show all of the records on a page. 10 per page, 20 per page, whatever you can figure. If we look under basic, which is what I'll concentrate on now, and we open up table, this perhaps has the options that are most consequential to configure. Uh, for instance, whether we have a, an expand collapse toggle button. But more importantly, if we look under filters and table buttons, specifically, this is where it is determined whether you will have at the top of that table control a PDF report generator, and you may want to turn that off, or a Word report generator, or Excel generator, CSV, and of course import data, which you may absolutely not wish to implement. Now, I've only touched on a few of these options, but as you can see, you can drill down into so many that I could go on and on uh, for a long time. Uh, so instead of doing that, I'll let you look through those yourself. And what I'll do instead is show you the third general application options. And here you have a whole bunch of great options to go through. For example, whether you want to encrypt URL parameters. And for instance, if you don't want someone to have a automatically sign in checkbox on their security page, turn this off. But again, you can go through these. The most important part of this is that you go through all the options that you can. And when you're done, don't forget to click this button to apply as defaults for new applications. By doing so, those options will be saved. And the next time you open them up, either for the current project or for other projects, you will have all those options in place. I hope that this video has been helpful. For more information, please visit logicaldevelopers.com or the forums or knowledge base at ironspeed.com. Thanks for watching.